are in the garage and you're gonna be taking the trunk, the carbon Sibin trunk off, putting the OEM one on, just because that this trunk was uh, pre-drilled with some aftermarket wing, um, it's not gonna fit ours. So we're gonna go ahead and get this off and- uh, Instead of drilling new holes, we'll probably just yeah. sell it. Maybe just sell this we'll one. Put it on the other car. So we're gonna go ahead and get this off here. And then we'll uh, put our Nismo taillights in. That yep, should be the pretty Nismo easy. Nismo taillights on and then- Clean um, this thing up. This thing is dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and get this off here in just a moment. Alright guys, so we have the wing on now. Yeah buddy. GTRV spec, GTRV spec. We have to swap these wheels real quick. You already know. Alright guys, so we are taking off the rims that came with the car. This is a one of one work wheel motion wheel this is a uh, customized for this car this car was actually a SEMA car uh back in 2017. you know obviously we're going to be throwing on our own gt4s and there's no wheels so go ahead and get this thing off real quick okay so if anyone's interested in some custom one of one work emotions these will never find another set of these let me know brand new tires all right Okay, let's get that moved out there. Yeah, I don't know how these wheels have space for barely any love. Alrighty guys, so we have a brand new HKS cone filter, the Super Flow Power. This one is gonna go on the car to replace the ugly filter that's dirty. Um, probably gonna paint that black and then we're going to do the valve covers black and then we might be able to spray this black while it's in the car we might kind of tape up and spray around it or um just kind of polish it up and get it looking a lot cleaner so uh stay tuned to look at that guys this is going to be some fun um i don't know what with this this bracket's got like a mold there we're going to take those off we have brand new headlight brackets so don't need that uh, but this bumper is just huge. These fenders are wide, are wide as shit, but yeah, we're gonna take them off, um, swap them over to the OEMs, probably get some Z-tunes as well. Uh, haven't decided what we're doing with the carbon hood. The carbon hood actually looks pretty nice, but um, we might throw our other carbon V-Spec two style hood on there instead. We'll see what we think about that. And then we also have some Nice Nismo 370Z seats. So those are going to go on. Stupid dog footprint here. Ugh, get the dirty. Dogs are running around in here, but all right. Keep you guys posted. Alrighty, boys. Damn. Look at her. Looks a lot different. Got the hood off. Straight swaps the in intake pipe cone already. Got the Nismo LMG T4s. Things look so much different already. Got the wing. Alrighty, boys, does she look good? Whoop, whoop. Damn. That looks so good. There's no. There's the M spec, boys. She looking good. All right. And we're gonna swap it with the other hood. guys so we just took off the front bumper uh, that was pretty easy we had bolt here bolt here that matched up with those then we had a bolt here and 
a bolt here. Now, we also had a couple zip ties there that were hanging from the that little bar. And that's it, boom, boom, simple, easy. Now she's off and we can go ahead and start replacing this bracket with the OEM bracket. I have another one that doesn't have this type of bracket. I have a brand new OEM one. Um, and then I'll go ahead and get this bumper mocked up. Now we have the brand new brackets installed. They are on here. That's why it's good to have extra parts laying around. There's the old ones. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything swapped. All right guys, so now you can see we got the mesh on the bumper. A lot of these tabs were broke on this bumper, okay? The only ones that we had were the ones that were for the grill. So we have both of those on and this was kind of flopping around on the backside. So what I did, is I took a little zip tie, took it right up through the top, right underneath so you can't really see it. Then that's gonna hold it there. And then I kind of have this for support. And then now I have this tight straight down to this so that way it's tight same thing keep it pushed down keep it pushed down tension keeping it down and then this is keeping it down so that way looks pretty good um yeah so i mean for not having any tabs not bad all right guys so we got the emblem put on there as you can see gold gtr emblem that's how we roll baby uh, it's very rare OEM add-on, but the problem that I was running into was I did not have any of the screws for the emblem. I couldn't find them, so I was running around looking for everything, and guess where you can find them? If you have extra parts laying around like I do, you can take them off of the fuel rail clips. That's right. I was able to find that they are the same size and worked, and yeah, so pretty, uh, pretty cool. So way she's sitting right now it's getting kind of chilly outside thought i'd bring her in got the bumper off getting ready to put the lip on the front bumper gtr emblem gotta put the lip on stick the front bumper on and then uh right, go boys we got the bumper on this shit looking good well, let's go Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right, baby. Wait till you guys see it here in a second. We just went to the DMV and dot. They um just like any other vehicle registration, you just go up there, give them the title, go and It's bone. easier if you bring the car. Got the got the R34 red B spec here. And this thing is so sexy, guys. It looks so different than when we got it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. OEM front end. Oh, man. So good. <clears throat> All right.
what's up guys we over here in nissan <clears throat> my boy joey tom hesser uh we're getting the car inspected real quick just a safety inspection no emissions required where i live so it's gonna be easy pretty simple basic stuff so um gonna get a couple of the little things here so uh so you guys hear what we get Monahan Avenue. Right, then guys. turn left here at tom hesser getting ready to leave she's a beauty baby we're out here thanks to my boy joey hooking me up gonna got the inspection done and um, got a couple little small things but uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit So we're gonna go ahead and get these headlights off. Usually there's a couple bolts. You got one here, one here, one here on the side. And then you got one bolt here for the bracket. Some people leave the brackets on, but our brand new headlights come with the brackets. So we're just gonna take this bracket off. And then you have to disconnect the cable back here uh, for the headlight. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this off and then we'll do the other side. All right, so we got the headlights out. And as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and get the New ones boxed up over here. Brand new from Nissan OEM headlights. Open it up for the first time. Got some screws. Probably use those. And then the headlights. This is the whole set, comes with the ballast and the headlight, brand new. Look at that, let's go make this car pop. And we are gonna go ahead and show you guys the difference between the old ones and the new ones. So this is a 25 year old headlight and this is a brand new one. Now sometimes you can fix these, you know, by, you know, buffing them and um, like re-clear like coating, but yeah, you can't beat the brand new, so. We can check here on the back. It does have the same plugs. Everything's the same. And we're gonna go ahead and hook these up. All right, one new headlight down, all new bolts. One new bracket and one to go. But brand new. And you got the baggy screws as well. Brand new. All right, so we got headlight number two in, brand new. As you can tell, this car is going to pop. Let me see it. All right, guys, so we are putting on the GTR badge. This, this uh, trunk and wing uh, came off of our other car. It did not have GTR badge on it. We got to throw the GTR badge on it because this is a rare V-Spec. Um, We're going to clean this surface off here first. Then once we get it clean, we'll go ahead and place her on roughly around right. here. Yep. Push it with the claw. Good? Yep. Okay. It's already down, so can't change it. But this is just temporary. Obviously going to come off when we repaint the whole car. We have a brand new one to replace that. Brand new emblem, boys. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Then we'll put the Nissan. If you guys want these emblems, that's the part numbers. R34 emblems are different than the R33s. figure out where the Nissan goes. We're basing all of our measurements and guesstimates off of our other car. 
So this is like, like directly middle. It's in the middle between these two. It's middle between that and it's in the middle of this, straight down. Let me just spray it off and clean it real quick. Yep. I'm thinking like, nope, that's it. Okay, okay, whatever. Alright boys. Thank you everybody for watching uh, make sure you guys slap a like it really helps the channel grow and we're gonna be doing so many big things 2020 baby